Hello friends, today our topic is Poles and Zeros. This Poles and Zeros we will use Z transform. So first we will see the meaning of Poles and Zeros. Suppose we have H of Z and H of Z is let's say Z by Z minus 0.2 and z minus 0.6 now we have to plot poles and zeros so first we have to find poles now here is the trick like numerator if we put numerator equal to 0 then we get zeros and it is represented as 0 if denominator we put equal to 0 like this value if we equate it to 0 we get poles and it is represented as x so how do i remember this the trick here is zip so it is easy if you remember zip this means that numerator if we equate it to 0 we will get zeros if we equate denominator equal to 0 we will get poles so here what are zeros and poles so 0 here is if we equate numerical numerator equal to 0 we get our first zero if we equate denominator equal to zero we get pole so our first pole is 0 0.2 and say a second pole is 0 0.6 these are nothing but terms z1 z2 and z3 so how we can plot our poles and zeros in x-axis we have to plot the real values of z in y-axis we have imaginary of z so our example have all real terms so we have to plot that so 0 this is our first 0 poles poles are at 0 0.2 and 0 0.6 so let's say this is 0 0.2 and let's say this is 0 0.6 so this is the basic meaning of poles and zeros using z transform so talking about the variety of question uh, pole zero are basically divided into two varieties like first is ROC sums then we have to comment on stability second variety is nothing uh, it's like uh, finding minimum maximum and mixed phase system and then have to comment on stability as well so basically we have these two types of variety this is first and this is second so let's see how to solve them So let's talk about our first topic that is ROC. ROC means region of convergence. This topic region of convergence is already covered in my previous videos. So please check that out. Links are in description. In this video I will cover how to comment on stability using ROC. So if you have pole 1 as 0 0.2 and pole 2 as 0 0.6. How you can check whether the system is stable or not? First plot a graph. Our first pole is 0 0.2, second pole is 0 0.6. So this is 0 0.2, this is 0 0.6. Now finding the region. Region, how to find a region? That's basically very confusing for most of the students. It is simple, like you have to cover the whole graph. So how will you cover the whole graph? So you can see the first region is this, less than 0 0.2. So we get our first region, mod z is less than 0 0.2. This is the second region. The outer part of the graph, greater than 0 0.6. And this is the last region. Mod z is greater than 0 0.2 but it is less than 0 0.6. 0 0.6 so you can see that our graph is all the region of the graph is covered so this is our region of convergence now there is one trick and the trick is if you see the less sign if you have only less sign less than sign this means our graph 
is anticausal. If we see greater than sign, and it should be only greater than sign, then we have graph as causal. If we have both less than and greater than, this means our graph is non-causal. So this is the basic trick you should know whether a graph is causal or not causal. Let's talk about stability. To check whether a system is stable or not in a given region of convergence, you have to check whether that region cuts unit circle. If yes, then system is stable. If no, then system is not stable. So this is the funda. So you can see we have three examples. Less than 0 0.2. Will it cut the unit circle because it's a mod? So the range is between 0 0.2 to 0 0.2. This is minus to plus. So it will not cut. So it is not stable. Take example of greater than 0 0.6. Yes, it will cut. What about? So if it cuts, then it is stable. All right. That, uh, this is simple. Now 0 0.2 less than mod and less than 0 0.6 this will not cut the unit circle so this system is also not stable so this is how you can find whether a region of convergence can cut a unit circle if yes then that pole or let's say that region mod z greater than 0 0.6 is stable so our second variety was very simple that was minimum maximum or mixed phase to find this we need only zeros now see if zero is inside unit circle uc means unit circle then it is minimum minimum phase now if it is outside unit circle it is maximum phase if it contains both like say 0 0.2 and 5 this means the it is inside unit circle and it is outside unit circle. This means mixed phase. So let's take an example. Suppose I have zeros. Let's say 0 0.2. Then 0 0.2 lies inside unit circle. Let's say this is unit circle. 0 lies inside unit circle. So this is minimum phase. Similarly, if we have 1. 1.5 this is outside unit circle so it is maximum phase suppose I have 0 0.5 and 2 this is both like if this is unit circle 0 0.5 lies inside and 2 lies outside unit circle so this is mixed phase mixed phase is also known as non minimum phase Now how to check stability? Stability with minimum maximum phase sums. We know about the zeros. That's all right. Now talking about the poles because stability depends on poles. Now system can be stable like poles decide stability. Now poles can be inside unit circle or it can be outside unit circle so if it is inside unit circle system is stable outside system is not stable simple so here comes one little example like when we talked about minimum phase system our zeros were inside all right so let's say h of z is uh, z by z minus 1 so this is a minimum phase system because 0 are inside unit circle ok now if we take inverse h inverse of z is 1 by h of z this means z minus 1 upon z now poles are inside unit circle that is 0 this means it is stable so the statement is 
मिनिमम फेज सिस्टम हैज इट्स इनवर्स एच इनवर्स जेड स्टेबल ओके तो फ्रेंड्स अगर आपको मेरी वीडियो पसंद आ रही हो देन टू लाइक दिस वीडियो शेयर विथ योर फ्रेंड्स एंड सब्सक्राइब टू माई YouTube चैनल तो मिलते हैं अगली वीडियो में टिल देन टेक केयर दिस इज श्रेनिक जैन पीस आउट